All right, so for page three, um, question three has to do with sampling distributions, and question four has to do with p-values. So for three, waiting at Walmart. So according to Walmart, the checkout time for their customers during the 4 to 8 p.m. time period has been uniformly distributed between four and 11 minutes. This, re this rectangular shape distribution has a mean of 7.5 minutes and a standard deviation of 2.02 minutes. So from this distribution, we want to gather some data to assess if this model for the checkout time is still reasonable. So he plans to take a random sample of 36 customers checking out between 4 and 8 p.m., record each check-in time, and compute the average checkout time. So the question is, what is the approximate model or distribution for the average checkout time based on a random sample of 36 customers? So since we're dealing with the sampling distribution for the mean, um, you want to look over here for your sampling distribution of x bar. So you can see that from the formula card, your sampling distribution of x bar is normal with the population mean, mu, the population standard deviation, sigma, and then the square root of your sample size. So if you go back to the question, first you have that it's normal. So the mean is your population mean, which is 7.5 minutes. And then your standard deviation for the sampling distribution of x bar is just your population standard deviation, so 2.02, .02, divided by the square root of your sample size, so 36. And at the end, you should get normal 7.5, and then 0.3367. All right, so the second question is, what's the probability the average checkout time is based on a normal random sample, based on a random sample of 36 customers will be more than 8.5 minutes? All right, so since you're given your population distribution, and this is not like a hypothesis test or anything, you just want to use your regular equation for z-scores. So recall that z is your observed minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So in this case, your observed is 8.5. Your mean is 7.5. And your standard deviation is 0.3367. So you'll get a z-score of 2.9. So if you look that up on your Z table, so um, 2.97. So 2.9 and then 7. Um, you should get that the area to the left is 0.9985. However, you want the probability that um, the checkout time is more than 8.5 minutes, so you want the area to the right. So your final p that or your final probability is. is 1 minus 0 0.9985, which is 0 0.0015. So our final answer is 0 0.0015. Okay, so part B is just <coughs> um, 
asking about various properties of the sampling distribution if you instead took a random sample of nine customers instead of 36. So if you took nine customers instead of 36, the mean of the distribution would stay the same. The mean is just your population mean, so it doesn't change with sample size. Your standard deviation of the distribution would increase because since your, the formula for standard deviation is the population standard deviation divided by your sample size, as your sample size decreases, your sample standard deviation or your standard deviation for the sampling distribution increases. And then the shape of the distribution would change. If your standard deviation increases, then obviously the shape of your distribution changes. All right. So next, um, question four has to just deal um, just deals with p values and alphas. So environmentalists concerned about the impact of high frequency radio transmissions on birds found that there was no evidence of a higher mortality rate among hatchlings in nests near cell towers. They based this conclusion on a test using alpha equals 0.05. Would they have made the same decision at alpha equals 0.1? So if the, researchers are, uh, if the researchers are saying that there's no evidence of a higher mortality rate amongst hatchlings, then they're failing to reject H0, which means that their p-value is greater, greater than 0 0.05. However, even we, though we know that it's greater than 0 0.05, we don't know how much greater it is than 0 0.05. So we don't know if it's also greater than 0 0.01. Or well, we don't know if it's also greater than 0 0.1, sorry. So since we don't know if the p-value is greater than or less than 0 0.1, we can't tell. <laughs>